Hello and welcome to my video. Today we will be unboxing the Xbox Elite 2 controller. I've been wanting one of these for many years. Here it is. Finally got my hands on one, so let's head in and have a look. Retail in England, UK, it costs $115,999. Wow, look at this. Look at this case. We can see if we take it out for the box. case is a zip case. It's got a charging port in there. Looks like USB-C. So it's good fast charging of it. Wow, there we go. There's a in here, I'm not too sure what you put in there. Maybe your cable. Let's have a look at this. Just let's uh, kind of have a look. Wow, that's don't have any colors on here. No, these feel nice. Feel nice. I like the silver in the top. Oh, very, very nice. Yeah, it looks very funky. I think this one I'm more interested in buttons here yeah, because obviously modern players play with two fingers. Like that's for kind of the younger kids play it. As I play, just one. Whereas I think, because my hands are just naturally sitting here, I can do something there. You don't have to bother doing that. You can actually just do that. Put that out. This is the tension rod, so you can just put it in here. Turn it. Now, I don't know if that tightened it or loosened it. So I feel, just turn it all the way back. Now that's looser. So that's good. So I say that's quite easy to work out. So I'll put it back on the middle and test it on that. I think for instance, FIFA 21, maybe for movement, so that you can do quicker movement just by moving it a little bit, have it harder, uh, and then skill moves a bit more flexible, I guess. So what is in the box? Can we get a bit of a velvet thing here? I believe that's just protecting the charging mechanism. We've got some other buttons in here. It feels like it's got less, less grip on it than the ones you get with your controller. So look at this one. And again, that feels like another one if you don't want all that grip, I guess. And then you've got a funky one here. That could be interesting. Maybe that could be quite good for when skill moves in too far. Same length, maybe movement. No, it feels quite, feels quite grippy. If you have not seen it yet, please go check out my last video, first YouTube upload. Go give it some love and support by giving it a view, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And then we've got, oh this one's a longer one, I can feel it. Yeah, a longer one. Sometimes you just want a long one, so let's have a look, so put it in here. Now how does all that come up quite a hit high? So if we just have a look at that quickly. Again, just thinking about FIFA gameplay. Swap this round. It's very easy to swap. Very easy. Then yeah, so if I turn it around for me to have a quick feel. Oh yeah. Maybe you could tighten that up. So we're just having a play now. Is that harder? I mean, it probably tells you anything. Oh, that's harder. Back in. I'll put that for original. And the other thing you can change in the controller is to customize it. And done. It's so easy. I love the magnets. It's I guess the one thing I, I'm worried about, and I, I hope the build quality is there, is that, obviously, the bumpers 
you end up getting sticky or anything like that and I guess that's probably why I want to make them harder and use these over here so to, to change the difference on these you have these little triggers up the back controls as you can see I don't have hardest but it's your standard controller would come up that setting and as we turn it around and as you can see they go right down as if we go change them and as you can see set that turns it into a button more than a thing that's why I'm gonna use them there and then use one of the triggers if I just want to use one trigger I could just pull them off this way and that's it and then you turn it around and you don't have those two triggers which are gonna annoy you but you might end up pressing both let's go off and see how I get an along of playing some games. We are going to go into a game of FIFA. Completely forgot to check underneath. There's the cable. <laughs> nice long cable there. Then you get a instruction book. Let's see what Sprint does. All I can say is it feels so responsive. And this is something I've, I've always been saying uh, about the original Xbox controller. That it feels so sluggish. Now I'm not playing online, so maybe. But wow. Let's try some skills. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm liking how the sprint button is uh, just feels so instant. What I've learned from just that quick six minutes of gameplay is the responsiveness feels better the quality of it and once you customize it I, there's a few tweaks i can really think of for instance the left thumb stick i made it lighter the responsiveness seems great for those really mini second quick changes quick skill moves having the triggers so close feels amazing i might go to medium Let's see how that feels. If you didn't have a chance to see my first upload to YouTube, please go check it out now, shown on your screen. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Please leave a like down below and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Or as my usual content will be is about football gaming which we will be looking at hat trick management sim, football manager 2022 and FIFA 22.